Hi, Brockton residents, it's Mayor Sullivan, and I'm so excited to be here today. This is the 32nd episode of Our Brockton, and I keep saying this, but the title speaks for itself. It's Our Brockton, it's our community, it's our home, um, and it's Black History Month for the month of February. And the guest today, he's just um, a wonderful, wonderful person. Um, he has been a, a coach, a mentor, a dedicated educator, the first black uh, Brockton High School principal in the history of Brockton High School. He was my own football coach at Brockton High. He's dedicated volunteering for the Brockton Redevelopment Authority and the License Commission. And he and his brother, the late Bo Merrill, were just really icons here in the city of Brockton. And I'm talking about Eugene Gene Merrill. Mr. Merrill is just honestly um, a piece of Brockton, a history uh, in the making and he has been able to take the time to uh, share his story and his thoughts uh, and he's our first guest to uh, kick off Black History Month so it is my honor and my privilege to welcome my friend my coach uh, my mentor Gene Merrill hi Mr. Merrill well as soon as I graduated from Brockton High School I got uh, five football scholarships so I had to decipher um, what school I was going to go to and uh, how I picked the school I was going to go to is the furthest one away from home. So, <laughs> you know, so uh, because my mother said, you're going to go to work, you're going to go in the army, you're going to, you know, you're just not going to sit around. So I just said, well, I'm gone. And so uh, they sent me flight tickets. I went out to the University of Idaho. I liked it, and so I stayed there for four years. I had great experience. You know, I was on a full football scholarship. We traveled all over the place. We were in the Pacific Coast Conference, which was Washington, Washington State, Oregon, Oregon State, University of Idaho, California, all of California, played UCLA, USC, COP, College of Pacific. And then we traveled, you know, we played in Hawaii. Uh, that was a great experience. You know, we played in Texas and Missouri and it was it was a it was a great experience. I came back home. As a matter of fact, I went up to the school board the day I got home and registered for a teaching job because the next day I had to go to Boston to register for the army. So they gave me a teaching job teaching math and science, which eliminated me from the draft. And so from there, I taught at Brockton High School. I went to East Junior High School for a year, and I was at South Junior High School for a year before coming back to the high school. And had great experience at the high school, doing some counseling, some, you know, there was a very radical time at that time. As you might know, there were skirmishes all over the place. And we were trying to settle all of these skirmishes. Coach Colombo and I formed a group and uh, we had great success on common, you know, a lot of the kids down. So we were very happy with that, with that project. There's something to say about knowing that your community, you know what I mean? There's uh, all of the different experiences that I've had. I coach, I was an assistant coach for over 30 years. So the number of students that I knew were tremendous and they all respected me. And so, I never had a difficult day at Brockton High School. Um, did we have some difficult times? Yes, but we tried to um, deal with it 
on a basis by basis, you know, getting the group of kids who were having problems with each other together to try to straighten out, you know, what the problems were. And I think that, you know, with some of the groups I know, like I said, I was with Armin Colombo. We were very successful. We had a big group of kids. We had the whole little theater. And uh, we, just, we just kept talking it out. Being an athlete, you don't have time to look at skin color whatever else is going on. You try to instill some of that into the regular school body, you know? And so I think eventually uh, there were enough leaders at Brockton High School that got the kids to calm down enough, you know, to get an education. You know, we explained to them, you, you, you only get this opportunity once. You know, this free education ends at the end of high school. And if you don't make the most of it, you're gonna be left behind. We ran a lot of after school groups to try to uh, get, get more kids involved. And we were very fortunate because we had a large school and we had many venues. We had the drama club, we had the band, the orchestra, you know, I mean, we could interest anyone, anytime, anywhere, if they were interested in getting an education. There was always that few that, you know, that were difficult to manage. But uh, we realized that, you know, we even had to put a, a greater effort in on those few, uh, you know, to let them know that, this is for the rest of their lives, you know? If they don't get this education, they're gonna be left behind. And uh, so we had large groups of, you know, uh, we had, you know, great band leaders, Vinnie Macrina and things like that, you know, to boost our morale and all of that, you know? And so uh, I think we were very successful in a lot of venues. Basically, uh, Brockton High School was a, what they called an open high school. If you could get 20 students interested in any subject, we had to provide it for them, whether it was photography or what have you. We were large enough to do that, you know, to provide them you know, with all of the different experiences, you know? I mean, you, you, you take the fine arts building itself, you know, uh, you, you have, you know, the bands and the orchestras and not only that, you have downstairs, you have all of the um, artists and, and what have you and, uh, so we could offer them the best in the state. And uh, finally, it, it, you know, it started to come around, you know what I mean? We had less skirmishes on campus and what have you, you know? So a big part of that program was, you know, athletics, uh, band, uh, the art program was very successful, even nationwide. And uh, so we were building a name and a reputation for Brockton High School. And uh, so, you know, we kept, uh, we kept trying to build on it. And of course, there's always that few that no matter what, you can't turn their heads around. So, you know, we had to build special programs for them. You know what I mean? And even they were successful. So, 
even though it was a large school. When I was there, there was 6,100 students. And uh, it was well run. Yeah, we had our little difficulties here and there, but you know, it always seems to get to the point where we could control that, you know? And uh, very, very few did we eliminate completely from the school. We put them in a, you know, we put them in a special program and they could earn their way back to the regular program. So, and with, the, with all of the diversity that we had, I mean, you, you just couldn't help but, you know, be successful. I mean, you know, with the music programs we had, with the art programs that we had, you know, uh, all of the, all of the uh, academic programs that we had, aside from the regular classes I'm talking about, you know, we were in competition with other schools for, you know, best poetry, this, that, you know, the whole ball of wax. Uh, fine arts build in the same way, you know, we, we would be in, in uh, competition with other schools that had skilled programs and we did very, very well. So I think all in all, I mean, I, I was there a long time, over 40 years, so I can tell you that I've seen most aspects of the high school. And I can tell you that most of the students took advantage of what we had to offer. There's always that few that sometimes you can never get to. But uh, all in all, it was, it was a great experience and a great success. People didn't think we could do that with 6,000 students. But we proved them wrong. You know, we put them on a house plan and we you know, gave them activities that they wanted, you know, instead of what we wanted. And uh, so we got great participation, whether it was in the academics or in the social or the musical or, you know, so it was, it was, as far as I'm concerned, I never went there a day and did not enjoy myself being there. I, I think that, you know, there has to be a direct campaign, you know, to get new alumni interested in what's going on at Brockton High School, you know? because we went through those same struggles early on, you know what I mean? A lot of skirmishes here and there, you know, you know, and we had to provide an interest for all of them. 